But this is a sweet spot if you're looking to regrow your hair. You wanna dilute that essential oil by three to 5%, okay? Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy, okay, with hair scripts. And if you don't know, if you're new, most likely you are, because we're still babies and nobody really know us yet. We have not blown up. We are a community of multi-ethnic, gorgeous baddies, that's why I call everyone baddies, who are experiencing hair loss or other skincare problems or female problems, and you're on this channel because you want to level up your hair, skin, and everything else game and release that in a baddie, okay? That is the best way for me to put it, but if you have hair loss and you need hair loss solutions, this is the place, hence hair scripts. Anyway, back to the video. Sorry, I had to give you that because everybody don't know. Anyway, so it's Bevy, and this video came because one of the girls, one of the baddies asked, well, Beverly, you know, in your last video, you showed us your, you know, world famous <laughs> essential oil serum, right? That I make at home. I don't buy essential oils from anybody. I like to, you know, the mad scientists and geek in me love to go ahead and mix up my own stuff based on the science, based on what's proven, and based on what works obviously with my my chemistry, et cetera, right? But I try to think of an overall blanket chemistry that works for everybody because I have fine hair, so if it works for me, it'll work for you. Anyway, long story short, I didn't mention how much, you know, what's the, the essential oil to carrier oil ratio. I have a video on the best essential oils and the best carrier oils, but I don't tell you exactly how many essential, how much essential oils to carry oils. Okay, well, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, a lot of people are creating hair growth oils, but there is an exact science to how many essential oils should go with your carrier oils, okay? Go watch the essential oil videos. It's gonna be somewhere here. Go watch the carrier oil video. It's gonna be somewhere there, okay? I don't know, magic of editing. Somewhere is gonna be somewhere, right? What I'm asking you to do now is, after you watch those videos, come over here, come to this side of the world, and let me explain to you the science of how you're supposed to properly do it for the maximum, most optimal hair growth and penetration. Because you want it to penetrate. If you're not putting the amount, the right concentration, guess what, sis? It's not gonna penetrate and you just gonna smell like a Thanksgiving turkey, okay? Hey, baddie, are you losing your hair? Yes, you are because you're on this channel. Anyway, listen, if those hair oils, DIY treatments, and hair growth pills are not working to help you regrow or thicken your hair, hear me, you've tried everything and it does not work, go ahead and join the Hair Script community and let us help you effectively regrow your hair by giving you access to proven methods that are backed by receipts, honey, and effective products that will give you impactful results for free 99 Okay, yes, I said it, $3.99. We partner with dermatologists, trichologists, and other healthcare practitioners to bring you real solutions for your hair loss. And you don't even have to leave your home. So stop being lazy, okay? Stop struggling to figure this out. Quit playing, sis, and just click the link below to join the community and get your freebies before it ain't free no more. Don't say I ain't tell you. Bye. I've already mentioned to you what a carrier oil is, okay? Um, you need to use a carrier oil to delete your essential oils, okay? Common carrier oils, the ones that I recommend usually on this channel is non-comedogenic carrier oils that's not gonna break you out. If you can see, I'm broken out and it's not because of the oils, okay? So don't come for me. Really quickly, you wanna use carrier oils that are low on the comedogenic scale on a zero, right? And so those oils are usually pumpkin seed oil, they're um, jojoba oil, the best ones are argan oil is really good. And of course, one of my favorite safflower oils, just amazing. And it has fatty acids like linoleic acid that are just going to further boost and enhance that essential oil hair growth factor, okay? So anyway, another option that people use, especially if you have more 4C hair or if you're on the four line, are butters to dilute your hair. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of butters because I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like anything that is going to leave me greasy and butters can be very comedogenic, okay? So I think whether you are four, three, two, one line of hair grade or texture, I think your, your best bet is to utilize a serum and that serum is going to go ahead and just absorb into the scalp. We're talking about scalp health. We're not talking about a sealant here. If we're talking about a sealant, that's a different story, but right now we're talking about scalp health. So anyway, 
there's other ways to dilute your essential oils obviously you're gonna do you can do this with shampoos whatever basically you can throw essential oils in anything but you gotta throw the around the right amount so let's talk about dilution levels for different people okay so now that you know what dilution is you need to know how much what percentage by what percentage you're supposed to dilute i'm gonna make this super simple by telling you how many drops so stick with me okay so now that you know the different dilution options here are some guidelines for what dilution levels you can use for different people in different conditions, okay? Now, for small children, okay, if you're using essential oils for your small children, you wanna dilute that essential oil by 1%, okay? This is for small children, pregnant women, and if you're using essential oils on your face. Me personally, I'm not for, I'm not a proponent on essential oils on my face, I'm being honest. But if you're watching other DIYers and they're telling you to put certain essential oils that have benefits for your face, which some do, by all means, make sure you dilute it by 1%, okay? And then I'll go into the breakdown. If you're looking at, you know, for everyday use, again, for your body, et cetera, you wanna dilute for 2%. But this is a sweet spot if you're looking to regrow your hair, you wanna dilute that essential oil by three to 5%, okay? So if you're diluting your hair oil by three, between three to 5%, if you have sensitive scalps, stick on the three side, right? If you're a little, you know, if you're a little riskier and you're willing to, you know, go on a, on a wild side, that means, you know, and this is simple, right? If you're using a five milliliter bottle, which is usually one teaspoon of carrier oil. So for every one teaspoon or a five milliliter bottle, okay, if you have your own little bottles that you're using, you want to use, if you're doing 3%, you want to use four drops of essential oil, okay? That is the best way to, to put it. So let me tell you, if you're going to make an oil, I'm going to recommend six teaspoons. Six teaspoons is kind of like the safe space to be. So let's talk about how many you need. Okay, so these are for all my girls that are asking me how much drops of essential oil should I use for hair growth in my carrier oil. Regardless of the carrier oil that you decide to use, for every essential oil, like I said, you wanna dilute it between three to 5%. Three is the lighter, the lighter side, five is if you're really trying to be risky. Just know that every scalp is different. Do not push the waters to 5% if you're not sure if your scalp can handle it. For me, I stay in the sweet spot. My sweet spot is 4%, okay? If you're diluting your essential oil, to finally answer this question, when you're making your hair growth serum, you're gonna use a carrier oil that is non-comedogenic, that's not gonna clog your pores, preferably one that is very lightweight and that is gonna absorb quickly into the skin that has oleic and linoleic acid, both of those fatty acids, to boost the hair growth factor of the essential oil. And then you're gonna use, if you're going 44% where I usually go, you're gonna put in, a, in six teaspoons, okay? For every six teaspoons of carrier oil, for every six teaspoons, you're gonna put 36 drops of essential oils. 36 drops, okay? So for every six teaspoons, you're gonna put 36 drops of essential oil. Now, let me clear this up, okay? That doesn't mean if you're using 10 different essential oils to put 36 of each 10. That means of the 10 combined, you need to put in 36 drops for every six teaspoons, okay, of carrier oil. I hope that helps, okay? Remember, so if you're using seven different essential oils, that's 36 divided by seven, you're gonna make sure that you put in 36 drops of that essential oil combined to every six teaspoons. Now, if you slick, if you want to put in 36 of each, then that means you're gonna have to put in for every, if you have seven essential oils, make sure that you have seven times six because you wanna basically make sure, oh my gosh, who doesn't know seven times six? I'm embarrassed. 42, okay? So that means 42 teaspoons, okay? And I don't know what that converts to in a bottle. So if you want 42 teaspoons, teaspoons to, do we wanna do it to cups or to liters? Let's, do, let's go to two liters. So you know what bottle size you should get, right? Um, to liters. So it says, it's not even a one liter bottle. It says 0.207. So 42 teaspoons, let me see to cups. Let me, let me just make sure I'm, I'm doing this. You know, because you look at the liter bottles. So let's say to cups, okay? And then maybe that will help us. So 42 teaspoons is 
almost is one cup basically. So one cup, okay? You can go ahead, that's one cup of carrier oil. You can go ahead and put in 36 times 46. Baby, honey, how I lost it. Clearly math is not my strong suit, okay? If you like me, I'm just gonna do six teaspoons, 36 drops, six teaspoons, 36 drops, six teaspoons, 36 drops, seven times, okay? I, I've i lost it. I don't know what I'm talking about. My math is jacked up. And if you know math, not nine times out of 10, if you are watching this, you know math better than I do, go ahead, do that and comment down below please and let me know what the math is I, this is just not my thing i should have did this off camera and came back nonetheless i love y'all listen if you like me and you think i'm crazy or if you think i know what i'm talking about even though i don't know math and i'm transparent about that go ahead and like this video because i did tell you something that you needed to know okay i did drop spill some tea some some essential oils yeah subscribe to the channel join the family join the community stop it don't know i'm telling you you know i'm trying to help you out all right, love you, bye.